All right. Well, this is hard to film. So what I'm doing is adjusting these pedals on this piano. And uh, the, the pedals eventually develop slop to the left and right. i have already adjusted this one and this one. So we've got this one left. And you see how it kind of wiggles really easily? Okay. So what we do is we loosen. And I'm going to show you on this one because it's a little easier to see. You loosen this screw here. And then tighten this one right here. Okay. You only tighten. You just snug it up. You know, you're not trying to kill it because it is a pivot. And uh, a drop of oil down inside of there will keep this lubricated for a long time. So I have to do the middle pedal, which is basically the hardest to get to. So I'm trying to position you in such a way that you could see it. A lot of getting in my way because although I like to share things, I don't really give a damn if you're going to be in the way. So. That means if you can't see, you're not going to get to see. I've changed a bit on my screwdriver, I'm holding this with one hand. So we're going to, you you're, you have to choose. Um, you don't want to shift the position. You want these to be roughly centered. So you need to be careful. You don't want to overdo it. So um, I can actually, it would be better for me to tighten the, the left one, which for you should be on the right, this guy right here. But, this pedal's not too bad, so I'm going to cheat and do this one. There's no felt in the uh, slots, so we just give it about a half turn or so. Um, a quarter turn, half turn. <laughs> just loose enough. You don't want to, again, you don't want to kill it. And then, uh, I'm going to, ooh. I'm going to try to depress this pedal and tighten that. And it's a little difficult because the rod is in the way. And you just want to give it a, about an eighth of a turn or so. And uh, I dropped you about an eighth of a turn. And all it does is gets rid of that slack. But you still want to be able to press the pedal fairly easily. You don't want it to be too hard. So if you can't push it with one finger, then your adjustment is a waste of your time. Alright, so moving back over here. Now, I'm no expert in this stuff. All I've, I just learned how to fix these uh, just to get it, just be able to make them work. Alright, so go back to the top bolt and you want to give it about a half a turn or so. Uh, I've never actually, I should probably pull one of these to show you here. These should be dogged screws, but they're usually not. Oops. These should be dogged screws. And what that means is they cut the nose of the screw so it's a, a little peg, so your threads would be represented by my thumb. And the dog would be the fing index finger. Uh, basically, so if you smash that dog, it, you can still retract the, the screw. Okay, so, the only problem I can see with this piano is these pins here there's a crack right there but it'll still play um, there's a one trouble area right there it'll play it could be worse if it's on these ones you can actually have some problems because of how many each this is one one note is three three wires so since that's since one note is three wires, it's actually important that the spacing is maintained on this one. Hey, on this dad. one, and get away with fixing it later on. Thank you, sweetie. My kid just found a screwdriver. <laughs> so that's it. Not much to it. It's just um, you know, tedious effort to work on the um, and over the next few days, I'll probably take and polish this um, the pedals just so they look nice. As you can see, I've already started working on this one, uh, just cleaning it off. Um, this scratch-free Brillo pads help get any coatings or crap off without making deep scratches on there. Then I can clean it. So, just take a quick look with these. If the rod, this piece falls out 
which actually there we go if it falls out like that to where it's loose um, the pedal won't sit right so what you do is you tighten the fixture which on this one the way you tighten that one is you bend this spring or add felt here and uh, I can see that somebody added carpeting at one one time or another um, just because they didn't have any felt on hand and here's some more actually that's real that may be no that's carpeting yeah so uh, but I can tighten this nut by hand and that's a good thing and so far all my pedals all my pedals are doing pretty good um, this one here could use some adjustment but there we go all right so now the pedals the slack is taken out of the pedals the pedals are still good this one could use just a little bit more but it should be okay it's playable and then the next process will be to add felt into these slots again and that that involves taking the pedal back off which is not a problem it's not that hard uh, I'll pull the pedal off and uh, just pack new felt inside of there and I'll polish these off while they're up while they're out you can see all the crud built up over years and uh, that's wax and crap people's floors so that's it that's that's the easy way to adjust the slack in these pedals and if the if the pin ever fails if it gets too loose in there the um, those screws they have a short a point on them the point will wear and uh, it'll break off and so you'll be playing your song and it will break off and my fingers not hurt it's that's bottom paint from a boat all right that's it good night